Well, hell, I'm damned if I can find anything wrong with it. Yes. It's puzzling. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this before. Hello, Ken Spriggs here with part nine of my 2001 Discovery build. Uh, sorry for the delay in getting uh, this current post up. I had gone away for about four days last weekend to visit my family in Pennsylvania. Uh, I had visited them about a month ago for an event and I could only get away for two days back then. So I uh, was able to get some more days off last weekend. So I decided to take advantage of that and go out and do a little visit. So back to Pittsburgh. So nice visit. It was nice to get away and see my family again. Um, but I did get a lot of work completed on the um, uh, detailing of the photo etch in the pod bay. Uh, with the styrene stripping and a styrene sheet and things of that nature. I also used some decals, uh, painting of course. So um, I got that pretty well completed at this point, uh, other than the lighting. And uh, so I'll go ahead and show you the progress that I've made. All right, thank you. All right, so I'm beginning to work on the main pod bay interior and building up some of the photo etch with some, uh, some extra detail. Uh, like it is in the movie. So, for example, let me turn this around here. This wall right here is all just smooth, other than the detail with the door and this window part. Uh, in addition, those little lines around the door are actually padding and they're raised. So, I'm going to build up around those, like I did in the cockpit. Uh, this whole area has a lot of detail and pipes on it. There's also detail on this side over here with some pipes and various things on there. So, all right. So, um, what I'm using as kind of a guide is some of the videos that I just showed here right before this. And I'm also using the Stargazer kit. Uh, I showed this in the, last, um, in the last video. I had built this up myself. And what I used as a guide for that is the Stargazer didn't really come with a cockpit with a cockpit well it kind of came with a cockpit didn't come with a um a full uh, pod bay what they wanted you to it came with a ceiling and a floor and they wanted you to uh, build some plastic sheet for the walls and just put on decals which is what's right here so i'm kind of using this as a guide it seems to be semi-accurate i've kind of looked at the stills so you can see there's a lot of detail underneath the window and on the sides of it and across the top, that kind of thing. So that's what I used to do this. As you can see, I tried to pattern it somewhat with it and I was fairly successful in doing it. Oh, sorry, there we go. Okay. Now this is a very small scale too, so this is going to be a much bigger scale. As you can see, it's close. The scale's kind of strange. Some of these are pretty close. The, the ceiling is way off. Um, and these are way different, so it's kind of odd. But it's a close kind of a thing, so I'm going to use something similar to do that. Um, and likewise, the floor, I'm going to put some detail on there. Uh, now for the floor, I got a decal set from HDA Model Works. Costs about twenty dollars. Not too bad. Uh, it's designed to do the entire photo etch. You're supposed to just put it over it and get some detail and that sort of thing. So most of it I'm not going to use. I'm not going to use the walls, anything like that. I may use the control panel. I probably will because I'm not going to really build that up that much and I'm definitely going to use the floor. Um, now this is one this is one whole piece. The whole thing's one big giant carrier film. I tested it with that. So it's going to be a little trickier. I'm going to have to cut those out in order to put it on. Uh, and then those three little uh, shapes there with the orange on it, those are actually raised up. So I'm going to cut those out from the decal. And on the actual kit, sorry, the focus coming. I'm going to raise up those areas. So that's this right here, 
this right here and this right here and I'm going to just put on some sheet styrene something that can just raise it up a bit and then put the decal over top of it so this will be pretty straightforward uh, I'll paint this white cut out the floor decal and apply it down over top of it and the nice thing about it is with the clear carrier film in between that's gonna let the white come through so it shows that detail with it so that'll be kind of cool and there's two of them so if you make a mistake uh, you can you can use a second one so all right uh, I don't think I'm gonna use any of the ones for the back wall we'll see I might possibly the black part in the middle looks kind of cool we'll see but I'm building up the rest of it so I won't really need it anything I might need is like the lower part underneath those tanks we'll see um, okay all right so what I'm going to start on is working on the um, the ceiling and what I want to do is it comes with little uh, the photo etch comes with these little vents air vents and they go onto here but um, they actually have a lot of piping that comes from behind them and they're kind of on top of pipes so I'm going to use some thin styrene to build that up there's like three pipes coming back from each one so I'll probably do that in addition these little circles here there's a little rounded dome kind of mechanical thing sticking down from it so let me show you some pictures of that real quick and kind of give you an idea of what I'm working with here All right, so I have all of the uh, the piping glued down onto the photo etch. I glued one of the um, photo etch uh, vent systems onto it. And then I started making these little rounded modules. As far as I can tell, it's it's kind of a dome or circular looking thing and it has little, little bits sticking out of it. So, um, so what I did was I used a piece of sprue and uh, I rounded off the top of it. That was that was that one there, first of all. And then I just uh, used my pin vise to just drill three little holes in some odd places uh, that were just big enough to put some of this tiny rounded stock into it. So I just glued it in a little bit longer than it needed to be on each one. Snipped it off close to the edge and then just use the lighter close to it to kind of start melting it and round it off a bit give it some character so uh, so this is what I ended up with it's a little hard to see it but yeah so it has a flat edge and it just glues onto it I have to sand that edge a bit all right so I'm working on that and I got to make three of those and then do the other three uh, photo etch vents they they come on a sheet and you have to cut them out and fold them up and glue them in place so they're a little bit tricky uh, but that one worked out pretty well and once again this is the ceiling so that's kind of what you're gonna see and it's just a little bit of piping coming out of the back give it a little bit more detail and I'll have those three domed things in the center so uh, not a lot of detail on the roof other than that, so that's all that I'm pretty much going to do. And then it already has the holes for the lighting there, including that one there in the bottom, which has really fine separations. So once I get it painted, I'll put some, uh, some clear styrene on the back of it and sand it so it will diffuse the light. And then the lights will come through the top there. That's pretty much the only place lights are going to come down into the cock into the um the pod bay but there's a lot of them there's eight all together well there's six on the top here and then these three sections are really i guess kind of nine but that bottom one's one section so 
I'm going to fashion some kind of light box or a couple light boxes to be able to um, get the light on the top of that and diffuse it. So, okay. All right. Let me keep working on these little domed things and then we'll get those onto the top and finish the roof up. All right. All right. So I completed the three little rounded domes sticking down from the top. This turned out really nicely. I could paint a little, more, little bit more details on it once I get the whole thing painted white. All right, so the roof's almost completed the ceiling. I just have to do the other three vent units and glue them in place, and there they are. They come as a flat photo etch and they have to be folded up. And the nice thing is they, they uh, when they do the photo etch, they pre-score the back. So all the parts that are gonna bend are gonna be pre-scored so they'll bend easily and in the right way. So I just have to fold these up, get them glued together with some super glue, and I'm ready to go ahead and get those glued onto the ceiling and that'll be finished up. Okay. And there's the completed uh, ceiling. I have the little piping in there, all the roof vents are in place. Those little circular uh, machinery in the center there are the three points. All right, so that's all done. That's ready for painting. I'll just leave that be for now. And then start working on the, the parts down here as well. Okay. All right, so I did some more of the um, building up of the areas. There's uh, the padding around the doorway. And I'm trying to get a nice clean look like you can see there. So instead of gluing it down to the metal like I did on the cockpit and cutting it off, I'm gluing it onto a really thin piece of styrene. It's like paper thin styrene. So I can get a nice, a nice finish. And then once I get the pieces done, in this case there were two of them, the left side and the right side. And then I glued it down onto the onto the metal. So I get a nice clean look to it. So I also want to do this ridge on the bottom of here and on the side. And then I want to do some piping around the this part here and across the top. And I have a little flat piece there on the right side so I can drill through it through that opening right there and I'm gonna have like a little red light there's gonna be a black uh, square on top of that and a little red light in it for like the controls so all right so let me work some more on this over here and that's coming along well And I finished that little teeny ridge there at the bottom. Very, very tiny little pieces. I tried to do some spacing between them, but it was a little trickier. So I just uh, kind of eyeballed them and glued them onto a strip of the, um, of the thin plastic. Let me show you that there. Thin styrene. Let the focus. There we go. And then just cut a thin strip out of it because it's really tiny as you can see and then just stuck it on there and use an exacto knife to kind of separate the, the little gaps between them again so i think that turned out well all right so let me just do this other side piece here and i'll start working on some of the piping all right and then there's that last side section of cushions on the left side all right so now i can start working on some of the piping there underneath that window section there okay so there's some of the piping underneath the window section there once again it's very delicate work 
Uh, and I try to follow what it looks like on the ship. And I was using this as a template like I showed that I made from the Stargazer. So there's a big thick pipe and then there's some smaller thin piping underneath. So, okay. All right, so that's coming along. It's almost done on this section here. I just have to do some vertical uh, piping going up and down on that left section there. And that'll complete this. Uh, some on the top as well a little bit. Okay. All right, so this side here is completed. I have some more detail over to the left there. And up on the top, I have that little teeny, whatever that's supposed to be. <laughs> so like a little dome with a hole in the middle and that'll be black inside of that and then paint the rest of it white. Some piping that goes across. And then also up there on the top, some more piping. All right, so only other thing I'm going to try to work on a little bit is around this square there's some very thin piping. I'm going to kind of play with that a bit. I don't think I'm going to do too much more over here other than the, the tanks on the back. And then I have to do around this door and then a little bit of detail on this right side. So, okay. All right. So let me work on that some more. All right, so a little teeny piece I'm working on, and you're probably not gonna see it very much, but um, in this little section, and this goes right through here. This is actually the airlock, the door that goes out to the airlock. Uh, and then on the left side of that little wall, you can just barely see there two little tanks with some kind of valves coming out of the top. So I just wanted to do those. That's all I'm doing in this little part. So I made a tiny little set of tanks and I just glued some tiny little pieces of styrene stripping on the top and used the lighter to just kind of melt them down a little bit. All right, so I'll glue that in place and that's the only part I'm doing in there. Okay. Right there you go. So those tanks are glued on there. Okay. I'm not going to do any lighting up of these panels in here you're really not going to see them I'll just put something behind them like some styrene or something so okay and as I said this piece goes right behind this section here all right all right and there's those tanks there on that little section there this is included I'm just holding it in place but that's the that's where the airlock would go out well, you're you might see those little tanks, but you're really not going to see too much in there. So I'm not going to do anything else like that little square there. I'm not going to put any controls through there. I'll just cover that with styrene or something. So, okay. All right. And then this will get glued on once I get the floor in place and all that. So, okay. Okay. So I put some detail around that opening for the little... Uh, for the larger tanks, I mean, as I showed in the image prior to this. Uh, and I, I just took the stripping and just carefully put it near a lighter flame to kind of warp it a bit and bend it in certain spots, put it in different sections so it looked like actual piping and tubing and not just one big square. So, okay, let me put the um, tanks behind that and show you what that's going to look like. All right, there you go. So those will just be kind of an outline to them. And keep in mind, um, all of this, this whole photo etch, is all going to be painted white when I'm done with the, um, with the detailing. So this is going to blend in more with the rest of the walls. It's going to look more natural. And there'll be some highlights of some yellow and some black and maybe some red, like you see in the movie. So, But, um, but it's going to cover some of the glue marks, a little bit of glue that overspilled a bit. And it's going to blend it all in and make it look like it's all one one piece. So, okay. So this part's all completed. I'm ready to start working on these. 
over here, this little wall right there, and then that little doorway there. So, okay, and that'll, that'll complete the interior, and then it'll be ready to start painting. Okay. Okay, so I've completed that side wall over there to the right side of the pod bay. Only thing left now is that doorway there, the, um, the raised parts around the edge of it. So I put a piece of tape over it and I traced into those lines. I'm going to put this over a piece of styrene and then cut it out. And I'll probably do the whole outline in a raised pattern and then uh, a little bit more raised for the, the ridges around the door. And the door will be open, of course. Okay, all right, let me work on that a little bit. All right, and there is the completed pod bay extra detailing, and I'm just holding that little piece in there right now. But there's the, um, the doors to the uh, maintenance corridor. So I added the extra padding around it and the little, little bits around the door itself. All right, so quite a bit of extra detailing. Let me put that down. <laughs> I'm just going to do a little bit on the floor as far as those little raised panels, the three raised panels, as I said. Uh, and then the floor is going to get painted and decaled. And then uh, this just needs some painting. And then uh, some, a little bit more detailing. And this will be ready to start putting together. All right. So looking fantastic. All right, so I put a coating of flat white Tamiya onto the inside of the pod bay. I left the bottom just the photo etched brass because I still have to um, attach the flooring onto it and the parts for the the pod bay uh, or the, the pod platform extenders on there. So, okay. I got to do a little bit more detailing of some painting, some decals on it, and that will be complete. All right. All right, and then here are the decals that I put on. See the little yellow ones with the writing on it at the top left and right. Uh, the black there in the center with the yellow square. Black strip over here to the right. And I did use the controls, that black strip there in the middle and those controls I used from uh, the HD Model Works decals. Uh, also that little square control panel that's not on there permanently. I'm just holding it on there for now to show it, but I have a little hole drilled through it so I can put a fiber optic. Uh, and so to, until I'm ready to put that in there, I don't want to put that decal on yet. Uh, the yellow ones at the top, I just got from a Bandai X-Wing fighter kit that I had that I didn't use the decals. I used the stickers, so I had that for that. Uh, the black stripe over here, they didn't have one in the HD model works, but I just cut out a part of the floor sticker, the extra one, and the right thickness and put that on there as well. All right, so um, I'm gonna get a flat coat on top of these to seal those in. And like I said, that, um, that control panel is not in there permanently. All right, so let me just um, show you how some of, uh, let me show you how the sub assemblies are gonna look uh, on the back of these and I'm not gluing them on yet either because they're not ready to be done uh, to finish up this and fold it up and I don't want to fold it again just yet because uh, too many foldings in those creases are starting to break like right there the top of that one there you can see and I don't want that to happen so so I'm gonna wait till I'm ready to glue it all together and then uh, and then do that part but I'm gonna go ahead and hold up uh, like the, uh, the lab wall over here, the, the oxygen tanks in the back, and then the, the little wall right there, and show you how that's gonna look. And then we will wrap up this video. All right. All right, so there's the lab mon uh, monitors sticking through that little window. The little how light. That might be positioned a little bit differently, but that looks pretty cool. 
and like I said, I'm just holding these in here for now. I'm ready to glue them in until till I get the whole thing together, and I still have to do the floor and the and the um, the uh, pods for it. So okay, let me show you the back ones as well. All right, so there's the uh, the big oxygen tanks and the small ones in there. And once again, they're just kind of taped on, so they're not quite flush or the way they ought to be. Sorry, just trying to show like an idea of them. All right, and let me just show you that tunnel, and that will be all of the parts there. All right, and then there is the maintenance hallway with the Dave Bowman figure and towards us. Go over light through there. Kind of show how that's going to look with the the rest of it. All right, so this is pretty much complete. I put a little bit of clear Tamiya on those decals to hold them in place. I might do a flat coat over the whole thing for those larger decals as well. So this part's ready to go. The sub-assemblies are all done, those three parts there. I just have to get some clear uh, styrene over top of this uh, ceiling here for the windows get those uh, sand those to make them uh, light diffusing and come up with a lighting scheme and then once I get that all together and I get this all folded into its right place then they can be attached on and I have to do a little bit of adjustment with some of these to make sure that they don't run into each other but then these will be bent as well so both the sides will be bent so they're not going to really get in the way uh, so the next thing I'm going to be working on is the floor using the decal as well. And the floor will come out of this and then it has a, um, a bottom piece that you can put uh, some tubing through that comes into these squares in order to, to have the, uh, the little pod uh, platforms extend from the ship. And one of them I'm going to have doing that. So, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video for this week. A lot of good progress. And um, this is coming together really, really well. And hopefully the ne uh, next week we'll be ready to start putting this together and coming up with the light schemes for that. Uh, I still have to put that piece in there as well and get that painted also. So, okay. All right. Well, thanks again to all my subscribers. And... Uh, everyone that's viewing in and seeing this build. I appreciate it. And I will see you all next week. All right, thank you.